In the last game, we learned that accepting change can be challenging and lead to conflicting emotions. On the one hand, you want to be seen as being supportive of new ideas, while at the same time you may be anxious about the unknown. In this game, we look at the tools that can help you manage the stress caused by change. Coping with change can have a draining effect on you, but there are some principles which you should keep in mind to help you bounce back and maintain your energy levels during challenging times. Number one, maintain perspective and be realistically optimistic. Things are usually not as bad as they seem. Ask yourself, will this matter in five years time? This should give you some perspective during seemingly overwhelming situations. Also look for the positive outcomes. How can I benefit from this? What good can come from this? Number two, use your unique strengths. We all have unique talents that can add value or assist you during change. Use these talents to energize you during the challenging times. They can also benefit those around you. Number three, reach out to others. When you are struggling to deal with a situation, it's very helpful to reach out to others for support, especially from those who are experiencing a similar challenge, perhaps even family members or friends. This is your moment to shine, and all you have to do to win is watch your energy levels. On the bottom of the screen is the energy meter. The objective of the game is to prevent it from going into the red. You can keep yourself in the green by repeatedly pressing the right and left arrow keys until the time runs out. But be careful, once in a while your body may cramp up, making your meter jump around. Don't give up, keep pushing through. Change, such as the one we are currently experiencing within MMI, can impact on your energy levels. As you play the game, you experience how difficult this balancing act can be. It takes active effort and at times unexpected events can cause energy levels to drop, making it even harder to bounce back. In order to complete the game, you needed to focus and put active effort into maintaining the balance until you won in the end. This is one of the critical aspects of being change fit. You need to become alert of negative and positive emotions change generates within you and use some of the tips we've provided to adapt to the dynamic environment you're facing. When your attitude towards change changes, then you'll progress ahead to being change fit. Here's a quick reminder of some of the things that you can do to restore your balance. Number one, value your strengths. Number two, ask others when you need assistance. Number three, be open to receiving emotional support. Number four, create some space for you and use some of it to relax. Number five, take part in physical activities or hobbies. Number six, keep things in perspective. Thriving during change requires a totally new way of looking at situations. Define practical routes you can take, which are informed by the change situation. When you do that, you are facilitating your ability to become change fit. Don't leave anyone behind. When you become comfortable with the change, help others who need assistance. Well done on completing the third game. Remember to put in your email address and collect the key. Look out for the fourth game containing your last key. You'll need all four keys to put it all together. And try out what you've learned today on your journey to becoming change fit.